The Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum held its annual Veterans Day event on Thursday, November 11, honoring the military service of all veterans in a program that recognized all United States military branches. The day's activities included a flyover, honor guard, live musical entertainment, a Civil War encampment and a military vehicle display. The Marine Corps made a big difference in my life and in many positive ways, said the program's keynote speaker, U.S. Marine Corps Vietnam veteran Bob Parsons. Parsons is the recipient of the Purple Heart Medal, Combat Action Ribbon and Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry. He and his wife, Renee Parsons, are the founders of the Bob and Renee Parsons Foundation which provides grants to non-profit organizations, including those who focus on the needs of wounded veterans and military families. It also taught me discipline, not discipline in the form of punishment, but disc. You didn't have to like doing it, you didn't have to want to do it, it didn't have to feel good doing it. But if you had to do it, do the best you could. And what a difference that attitude makes. They taught me that I could accomplish much more than I ever dreamed possible. He concluded, and they also taught me that I had a right to be proud. The museum had its Gold Star family's Christmas tree on display in the main lobby. Gold Star families are encouraged to bring their own ornament from home and place it on the tree or they can attach a loved one's photo and name to one of the museum's Gold Star ornaments. 30 years ago this month, President Ronald Reagan opened the His Presidential Library and Museum. The complex is in the midst of a month of special events to celebrate. Joined by former President George H.W. Bush and former Presidents Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford, and Richard Nixon, Reagan launched what later became one of the largest federally operated presidential libraries. Its archives include a wide array of documents, photographs, films and tapes devoted to Reagan's legacy, chronicling his life from his childhood in Illinois until his acting career in Hollywood years as California's governor and America's 40th president from 1981-89. Located in the hills in Simi Valley, the library has nearly 55 million pages of gubernatorial, presidential and personal papers and over 60, 000 gifts and artifacts chronicling the lives of Ronald and Nancy Reagan. The Reagan Library also serves as the final resting place of Reagan, who passed away June 5, 2004, at age 93 and his first lady, who died in 2016.